about what is it that we could do in universities and colleges that would enable all learners to kind of be themselves, you know what I mean? So that you know, if they're disabled it's okay and you don't have to say you've got mental health problems, you don't have to hide it, if you're gay you don't have to hide it. What is it that we could kind of do um, that would make that happen? So, I don't know, a top tip for it or your best idea for it? University, I have no idea. Okay, are you at university at the moment? I am, yes. And what I am are you finding, doing? Yeah, this is management. Okay, and how are I'm you more, finding that? Well, okay, you know, well, uh, I'm more into business sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, creative wise, thinking wise. Okay, and do you haven't met any kind of barriers that relate to issues around age and gender and race or disability or any of those things well, that you uh, thought, oh, I'd like to change that or I don't like the way that works? Um, well, there's, there's always going to be obstacles, barriers, and stuff like that, challenges. Uh, it's just, just, it's just, just the way you deal with it. Okay, and how do you, how would you recommend that people deal with it then? So so what's worked for you? So everyone's different. I would okay. say, deal with it the way, however you can deal with it. That's what I would say. Okay. You know? And what um, if people are being damaged by the process, though? <laughs> what do we do about that? Like, Man up. You know, yeah, I could do it. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> what if people are experiencing bullying or experiencing homophobia? Or, See, um, what do we do about that? I'm, uh, I'm a boxer. Okay. And uh, I got into boxing because I used to, I used to get bullied back in school. Okay, around. Um, uh, this is going back about, about eight years ago. Right. And right now, I'm a semi-professional boxer. Okay, so that so physicality that, that help helps you overcome yeah, those barriers, yeah. okay. See, uh, the training, see like now, um, you know, I've got into business, um, if, I, if I didn't get bullied, right now I own five properties. Right, okay. I own five on my own name, which I bought myself. So if I didn't get bullied back then, I wouldn't have all this now. now. So you think it's given you the incentive? Yeah, yeah, that's why it's okay. And is that, so that kind of, you trying to change those barriers has kind of given you that sort of social mobility goal as well, has yeah, it then? Right, yeah. Okay, that's so I'm that's saying. unusual, is it unusual for your family, for example, for you to own property or uh, come to university or? Well, at university, I was inspired by uh, my father, he's got, he's okay. he's got, you know, he graduated with a PhD. And uh, so you know, he's always says that. Uh, so you're chasing that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's always he's always says that all my kids to you know be on the same level as me, at least at least. Or to do better. Yeah. To do better, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. a bit of pressure too. Yeah. So you okay. know, if if you went for that, I wouldn't have got to university. Okay. And um, and no. Is it is it because you're different at university that there's no sense of being there, it's just that, or is it because university is also different? People are different. It's just, it's just that um, I think um, while I am different, um, everyone everyone is different. I mean, it's, people deal with things in a different way. So, like, say I got bullied, I couldn't take it. I went to the gym, <laughs> I started boxing. You know, my, my, I got confident. You know, and I dealt with it. I dealt with it like that, with using my fist. And now, now, now that um, I can, I know how to deal with bullying. So it's more talking now, less, you know, than rather okay. than you know, be physical. Okay. okay, so you've been able to move on to.